In the rural mountains of Nepal, day-to-day -day life is relatively simple, and it is a simple foe that has plagued small villages throughout the country, micronutrient deficiency, or the hidden hunger. Over two billion people suffer from micronutrient deficiencies, most in the developing world. Micronutrient deficiencies cause blindness in 500,000 children annually, are the leading cause of death during childbirth, reduce IQ by 10 to 15 percent, and increase the risk of death from common childhood infections by 23 to 40 percent. The fortification of staple foods is the solution to combat this hidden hunger, but much of the world currently has no access to centrally processed foods. Project Healthy Children is working in Nepal to develop a program to fortify locally milled staple foods with the potential to reach millions of needy families throughout the world. The small village of Bardeo was the site of the initial pilot project, spearheaded by our partner, the Micronutrient Initiative of Ottawa, Canada. <laughs> Winning the World Bank Development Marketplace Award, along with funding from the Canadian International Development Agency, allowed for the initial donation of the equipment and micronutrient premix sufficient for the initial 12 months. It made the project an easy sell. It wound up costing only pennies per person for the enriched flour. Eventually, the project will pay for itself. The revenue generated will be deposited in a revolving fund for purchasing the premix in the following period. The fortification technology developed in Nepal was seamlessly worked into their traditional process and required minimal training. It is a semi-automatic device and consists of two hoppers, one for feeding the premix and the larger hopper for feeding cereal grains into a central collector. The resulting mixture is then ground into flour. Project staff check samples of the flour on a regular basis to ensure proper fortification. Gravitational force operates the device, eliminating the need for electricity. This feature, along with the adaptability of the device, makes it one of the most promising technologies for village-level food fortification. These features make the device useful on a global scale. Over two billion people worldwide, equal to six times the U.S. population, suffer from micronutrient malnutrition. The introduction of this device could prove to have the same impact throughout the world as it has in Bardeo. Word of the success in Bardeo has already traveled to neighboring villages. <laughs> What may seem a small step is just the beginning of developing an appropriate and cost-effective solution for the global problem of malnutrition.